everyone, and welcome to another episode of Jurassic World Alive. Did you think it was going to go a week without doing it? <laughs> Maybe, but no, because actually the game has decided to put back in a load of um, T-Rex or Rexy DNA. Um, and I mean, this is this is the reason why we're making the video, because now I think if we have a look at my team, my Rexy is now, it could be upgraded to level 26. And before, like today or yesterday, or God knows whenever this is uploaded, um, they put an incubator out for 90 quid that gave you a guaranteed 400 Rexy DNA, which is a crud ton in terms of what we've gotten from a, a Rexy so far. So, of course, we had to buy both of those. Because that's the way the game is. Because Rexy is a 100% pay-to-win creature. Hey, Or at least to max it. Because, coming up, we'll see why. But, at the moment, I think so far, I, I think I've spent about like 500, if not more, plus pound to get Rexy to this level. A single dinosaur. And yeah, I think you can get Rexy for free in the Battle Pass, and you can also get Rexy um, in an upcoming an event. And uh, some, some events have been around, and you have been able to dart at least once. But the, if you want Rexy, I've seen Rexy's up to level 27, 28 uh, in skill tournaments uh, before. So I think I, I have gotten every Rexy DNA that I possibly could have, bar about a thousand. So if we, if we go in here, you've got these things. So it was basically this. It was an 89.99 incubator um, that gave you 400 Rexy guaranteed, as well as bucks. That's why we've got 31,000 bucks and a lot of coin. Um, but I think that's all it gave you. It didn't give you any boost or anything. But this is the oh, this is the way I think I've lost out on 800 DNA. Because if you purchase this for 5,000 bucks and you only buy five of them, you have a slight chance of getting Rexy. Now, the majority of the times that I've done it, I think, oh, did I not? Oh, it was different dinosaurs, actually. Oh, okay. So Rexy is part of this, but it was uh, like Tristornix and stuff like that. So we are actually going to spend 25,000 bucks on this because I'm kind of curious what we can get. Will we get Rexy? That's what we're looking for. Is a Rexy? Oh, I'll take that, actually. A Tarbogonathus. Uh, like I said in the last video, I think people are kind of sleeping on Tarbogonathus. Um, but I think it's a pretty decent dinosaur. So, let's see what we get. It is 200. Oh, you know what? I'll also take that because I kind of want to go for Ankylosaur Lux. Now, if we did go for something like this, what else? we can open six of these. And Giga, Listro, Thera, it's not very good, really. So, we got 15,000 left of this to open. So, already that's two, four... That's 400 Rexy DNA we've missed out on, and a total of 1,200 through incubators that I could have gotten. But it's all a, a, a game of chance. And there you go, another one didn't get. So that's 1,400 now, is it? Oh, God knows. Anyway, probably going to be very unlikely we're going to get Rexy DNA on this. Oh, just as I say that, of course, of course, just as I say that, to be like, yeah, no, la ha ha ha. <laughs> and just like, yeah, whatevs. <laughs> and the final one. It doesn't really matter because we need a lot of DNA to get it to the next level, level 26. So much so that we're not, even if we got Rexy every time in this, we weren't going to get it. So, and we got, ooh, unlocking Ankylodocus. Anyway, we'll get this guy to level 26. I put it back on my team. I actually took it off. Um, and I've been you, I'm sort of figuring around what I want to do with my team. Uh, because the way the meta is looking at the moment, it's very samey. Or at least it feels like I've, I've sort of looked at a lot of the top players, see what they've got. Because you know what? I mean, I, if I'm spending this friggin' this much friggin' money on oh, this friggin' dinosaur, and just the game in general, and I play it a fair bit, why don't I just try to get good? <laughs> Look at, you know, I've got no reason not to now if I'm putting the money in. I mean, for me... I don't agree with it. Um, you, you might be saying, well, if you don't agree with it, why are you doing it? Because if I don't do it, I can't really make content on it. It's catch-22. It's either I, I don't do it and I make a video like every two weeks, if that. Because no one wants to kind of see the battles over and over again with the same creatures, right? Uh, <laughs> uh, and here we go. Level 26 takes me almost to 5,000 health. Oh, yes, we are close. So if we got a thousand Rexy DNA, we could get level 27. If it was level 27, it's got 5,100 health. Now, we could put one more boost on it. And I am a bit tempted to put some health on it just to 
Because even though Rexy, yes, it has a lot of attack. And at level 30, it's probably going to have like 3,000 attack or something ridiculous. Pretty close to it. Um, and you go for the dominant roar, you get 50% extra attack, which then becomes, I mean, how you do like 8,000 damage with that fierce devouring rampage? It's ludicrous. Um, so I, I think I want just a tiny bit of health, just a little bit to push me over. I don't know. You know what? We'll save it for now. And again, we still haven't got these boost things, like the, the resets. But what I wanted to also look at, because this is my team, we got Ilophosaurus or whatever that was. We got 200, will we get 90 or 80? Oh, 40! <laughs> we almost got it! Almost got level 30, and then at max level of 2005 attack. Ooh, such a good counter. So good. I don't know whether people use it, but anyway. We've also got, I begrudgingly put this on my team. I know. Paratox. Why? Because... Yeah. It is good. It's just annoying <laughs> to face up against every time with the same freaking thing. I mean, yes, if you swap it in, you don't get to heal instantly. But as long as you're surviving one hit, maybe two on the swap in as well, uh, you do greater group heal, you can swap out and then have something else come in. Keeping Scorpius Vex Gen 2 on our team, or Gen 3. Keeping into Taurus. Um, and the new one, the Hydra Boa, actually. Because... Um, I've sort of done a fair bit of boosting to it. I think I wanted more attack boosts on it, but like 26, it, it's pretty much, pretty much there. So the instant nullifying strike is really freaking good. The fable fangs as well is really good. Um, the constricted rampage, again, just something to punish people for swapping out. Because the meta has been for the longest time, swap in, swap out. Um, so you just want to have, especially if you're 2-1 up or, you know, you've got one more kill to get... If you can just put this thing in, it just makes sure that, like, they're going to die if they swap out if they're on low health, basically. Because all, it doesn't matter about, you know, stopping a swap out, because even if they get it off, uh, they're getting hurt, you're getting healed. It's pretty damn good. Oh, we got a Therizinosaurus. We might as well dart it. So we'll also look into uh, this week's upcoming schedule as well, because why not? James does that from time to time when he can actually be bothered. Hmm. It would have been a lot better if Lugia just kept it, you know, on, on Mondays, just releasing the, the charter. But hey-ho, it is what it is. And there you go. <laughs> Could have got another dot in there, I suppose. But it's okay. There is an Asaurus at the moment. I don't think it has any hybrid, so I'm not really too fussed. We'll have a look at the present. Yes, 489. Wow. <laughs> so good. We have a Kool-Aid over there, but I'm not really fussed about that. Yeah, I, I, sorry. I was just looking at this and thinking, hold on. VIP... Maybe this is actually worth it, because to get a hundred boosts, it's a thousand bucks, right? So this is ten thousand. But no, it's 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 legit the same price. I don't understand. They haven't got this VIP like special offer. Like, yes, you can get more incubators, I suppose, but they're never any cheaper. The only difference is you can buy them. That's it. I think the only difference with VIP is they're there. <laughs> yes. So let's have a look at this coming event from Wednesday to Thursday. The comments are Parasol, Dimetrodon Gen 2, Alasaur and Dilophosaur Gen 2. Um, I mean, dot whatever you want. But on Monday, you've got the T-Rex Gen 2 incubator, rare one. And on the third, sorry, Wednesday. And on the Thursday, you've got an attack boost. Um, so that'll give you 50, is it? Or 25, I can't know. And Friday to Saturday, the rare, oh, sorry, epics, you've got Alasaur Gen 2, Blue, Giga, and the Lystrodon, or whatever, it's Lystrosaurus. Uh, out of those, probably Giga. I mean, that has the hybrid. I don't know if it's any good, but at least it has it. You've also got Lystrodon as well. Blue is a hybrid, Alasaur Gen 2, so really it's personal preference. But again, Saturday, you need to think about, you got the health mods as well. And on Sunday, friggin' Sunday, you have a one attempt to dot either the Ankylo Moloch, which is for the oh, Ankylos or Lux hybrid. You've got Indominus Rex, which, I mean, out of all those, if you're choosing Indominus Rex, you're either new to the game or, you, uh, I don't know, there's, there's no reason why you would do that. And Rexy as well. Rexy's a hard one to dot, so is Indominus. I would, if you want the most DNA, probably go for the Anchor Moloch. I think that's probably going to be the easiest. And then Monday to Tuesday. Oh, hold on. Sunday. We haven't done finished Sunday. You've got two epic incubators. I think one of them, one of them is a Giga incubator as well as like a Dominion incubator. So we're still going on with all of the Dominion stuff, which means that every incubator you do will basically have, give you a chance of getting Giga DNA as well as anything else. And then Monday to Tuesday, Overaptor, um, Tyrannosaurus Rex Gen 2, Therizinosaurus, and Dreadnoughtus. 24 attempts, a bit like what's going on now at the moment in the game. 
It's it, it's good. You've got a lot of decent things to get. Uh, Monday, you've got a speed boost incubator as well as a rare incubator. And on the Tuesday, you've got two friggin' epic incubators. You've got the Lystrosaurus and a Dominion one. Uh, also, I forgot to mention on the Friday, you've got a Pyraptor incubator, which, you know, it's something. As well as from Mon Friday to Sunday, I'm terrible with dates, hey! Uh, you've got the Coin Chase, which I think every day will give you one Dominion incubator. So, just, I think you've just got to, like, set it off, just see what it is. If it's any good, take it. If it's not, eh. Back to the game, because one dinosaur that I see used a lot, and I mean a lot, is the Alberta hybrid. Actually, most top players also have the bear maxed up as well. They're not really fussed about the bear. Bear's kind of meh for me, but hey-ho, it's there. It's, it punishes somebody for swapping out because I think it heals them. But this thing, the Alberto Servia, I don't even know what that, I mean, it's a hybrid that it goes into, uh, this thing on the left, but the Albertosaurus, whoo, whoo, that's a rare one to come across, Albert. I'm wondering what the other thing is. Could it be a Sacodontosaurus? I'm not sure, but this thing is very good because it has, I think it's, well, we'll find out really, won't we? Let's make it the Alberta Servia! Yes, look at you! You were a weird looking thing. <laughs> Head of an Alberta source on a little uh, quadruped. Right, let's have a look. So, defense shattering alert, meh. Destructing revenge, bellow. Ooh, okay. Instant ferocious revenge, that's the one. You want to swap this in for a revenge after something has died, and then you can either go for a precise revenge or an instant ferocious. And I think the instant ferocious also boosts your attack before attacking, uh, a bit like Rexy's does. Uh, you've got the swap in devour strike. So if you swap in, you do do some damage and you get to heal, I suppose. But the fierce counter, this is it, attacker. So you break a shield, you go through armor, um, and you cleanse yourself as well as um, doing 323 damage, which really doesn't seem that much. What is the hybrid it goes into? What What are you? I've got a lot of you. Uh, oh, God, yeah. Okay, so I do not need to worry about making this thing. I, I barely remember you. And you, you actually, you look nicer than your picture you do. And then in here, it's kind of like, oh. <laughs> So, I mean, I can't, I can, I can do like five, maybe a couple of five pieces. Oh, brilliant, 80. So what, we got all tens in 130? <laughs> we'll do another one because I've seen this thing like maxed up to level 30 a lot of high level players use it um and they basically just boost the attack out of it and then that's it oh a 50 a 40 and a 30 look at that we got 81 time and 170 on the others just shows it it's a complete flip of the hat sometimes so we may as well boost it because it's a really good creature. Maybe we need a level 25. Maybe that's what we need to make an alpha out of it. I don't know. Apex, that's the one. But we can get a level 23. Boost his attack a little bit more. And, I mean, maybe we could do it to level 24. It's the Albertosaurus. It's actually the, the uh, hard one. Actually, actually, actually. So now it does 356 on the count. Fwah! Cool! Blimey! <laughs> we'll do... I think we'll do three pops of this. Maybe. Oh, God. Say maybe we can get level 24. <laughs> no. So I've seen this one. And then the Compi Gen 2 hybrid as well. I want to give that a shot. So no. No. We can only do two of those. Ah well, Albertosaur. I don't where do you even spawn? I have I very rarely even see it. Do you even spawn on the map? Events. Where to find? Event. Keep an eye on weekly calendar. Right. So you can't even dot it in the wild. Sweet. Unless you've probably got a scent or something. Ha ha ha! And we can do two pops of this one. Ooh, 140. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. And the reason, like I've said in the previous videos, why I, re I like it's not. It's probably not good enough to get it just to level 30. Because you really need to put boosts on it. And it's, again, just something to help punish other things that like to swap out. The parity alert surge is really good, especially if you're threatened because you get a dodge on it. Um, the alert shattering impact as well, if you're threatened, you get a rally out of it, which on nowhere does it show that you may get a rally on the on the sign. There's too many things. Moves can you, there's too many different things that moves can do that they can't fit it all on the thing. So they've done it to themselves, really. The impact on escape as well. So if something swaps out, you just go through armor and also do 2,400. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's do some battles. And, ooh, interesting. Two of the new creatures. I've, I've, I've watched some people do battles, and Hydrobo seems to be a good one to put in first. Don't know why. 
Maybe we'll find out. Oh, Forex. Okay. Right. How much damage? 5,000 damage. Good God. Uh, now, what are the chances that it'll... Oh, I, maybe I can kill it, actually. Should I just go for this? I think I just, yeah, it's going to go for its priority. I mean, it kills me if it gets a crit, basically. Oh, what was 10% chance? I, I have armor? <laughs> I don't even know I had... Oh, 15% armor. Brilliant. Okay, so now, now it's faced with a, an interesting situation. Because if it swaps out, it dies. And if it does anything else, it also dies. So hopefully it swaps out so it dies and I get health. Uh, no, it just wants to die. Okay, so that wasn't a bad situation to be in for me. Okay, now if I had Rexy, I'd be like, yes, finally. Okay, so you are quicker, but you don't have any priority. You're immune to bleed, but I may as well just do the most amount of damage to it, right? I think so. I might as well. Uh, uh, yeah, sure. I mean, what's it going to do? Just go for its regular hit, like the crafty thing, and then it's going to try and set up with long invincibility and all that loveliness. Um, I'd, yeah, I'd imagine its attack is through the roof as well. Like 2,500, that's crazy. Okay, fair enough. Now, what's a good counter for this? Um, it's got nullify. Um, now, it can't do invincibility if we just put an Indutorius in? Right? That's what I'm thinking. Um, we can just go for that. And, I mean, can he lower my attack? Okay, yeah, he's just... He's, okay, fair enough. Whatever. He's, he's going to try and do as much damage to me as possible. Um, oh, that's good. Okay, so I've maxed the attack on this thing. Whether that's good or not, God knows. But I've, I've put max health on it. So 5,000 off an in Indotaurus. And I've still got 3,400 to play with. It's not a comfortable situation, really. Um, now, is he quicker? Aha! Brilliant! Sweet! He's not a quicker. Okay, I might as well just try and just go for a load of attack, right? Yeah, I thought he'd go for that. Now, if I play my cards right here, we've got a 3-1 victory! I mean, play my cards. It's all up to the luck gods. What do we get? A survey says we didn't get them. That's unfortunate. But great news is that he's lost his cloak, because now he's going to go for probably a big hit. Oh, yeah. well, he lost his cloak anyway. Now, does that mean that he gets it back quicker? No, it's still cooldown three. So, I think I can kill him with this. A 2,000 and 4,000. And then if I want to, I... Ooh, ooh. Now, it depends what he went for here, really. Because... Well, let's see. Let's see. Let's see how this plays. Oh, God, no. Oh, God, no. Please don't kill me. <laughs> oh, please let me kill him. I don't think I do 3,000. He might kill me with a counter here. Oh, that crit. Oh, that crit. How much damage does this do? Oh, no. It's just shy. Now, is he going to kill me with this? Ah, damn it. He got the crit work. Oh, I was hoping that even if I survived that, I would have just swapped in Paratops. So that was really unlucky there. Unfortunate. But hey-ho. That's the way it goes sometimes. On to the next one. Maybe I should have went for Paratops. Maybe Paratops with that counter, like, straight in the revenge. That could have been good. Oh, we got Rexy this time. Level 26. I'm waiting till I get some more attack. Boosts, and then we'll do something with it, maybe. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, a Scoon. Oh, okay. Okay. So, I think I might know what I'm doing here. We'll find out, right? We'll find out. Let's see. Because he's not going to kill me. I don't want him to counter me. Because if he counters me and goes for his biggest hit, that's like 3,200, 4,000, 5,000 and odd damage. That's a lot. I'd rather do this so that when he does this attack, I might have a chance of dodging it. And I get some extra... Well, I did get that. Okay. And I get some extra attack. Did I give myself... I think I gave myself more of a crit chance. I'm 100%. Or did he remove my crit chance? No, he didn't. So 80%. And now we just go for the big one, I think, here. If we just go for this... Yeah, I mean, we're prob we, we, we probably died. There we go. But we're going to do a lot of damage to the Scoon now. Yeah. Is it, is it going to go through the dodge? Oh, it didn't go through the dodge. Oh, 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 tell you what, like, we've, we've somehow done really good here and killed him. <laughs> That's kind of impressive. Okay, so big hit there, and I'm pretty sure that we can kill him with an... Oh, we can't even kill him with nullifying. Okay, so what do we do here, guys? <laughs> do we go for the nullifying? And then, or do we risk him going for invincibility? Let's risk him going for invincibility. Oh, he's quicker anyway. 
Oh, he dies anyway, I suppose, because of the bleed. <laughs> Either way, and maybe I could have got lucky with a crit. Okay, so what do we do here? Do we just play in Rexy and just have fun with it? We could still have a faux Rex. Ah, sod let's put in Rexy. If it's a faux Rex, I'll scream. Ah! <laughs> How dare you? How much attack has it got? Oh, thank God. Okay. He's, he's definitely going to do it. He's going to go for his... Oh, he didn't. Oh, he played me. Oh, he played me. Well done. Well done. And then he'll just go for his picket. Right, yeah. Wait, what else can I do there? Well played. Well played. He's either faced up against Rexy's before. Normally, like, he might have just tried. Like, I would have thought he would have just went for the, the thing. But I guess I'm wrong. Okay, okay. So now he's got his swap out and bleed sort of thingy majiggy. Right. Well, if that's the case, I'm just gonna go for a cloak. I think that's the safest option for me. Let's go for the cloak. He'll probably just do his big hit, get out of dodge. And he might die if I get a crit, actually, if he does that. Oh, he is gonna do that. He does also get the crit. Doesn't get through, which is good. Now, do I get the crit is the question. Oh, it doesn't matter. He's dead anyway. Okay, cool. All right, let's see what comes in because uh, that's a lot of damage. That's over 3,000 damage. Ooh. Now, what's going to happen here? I do have Scorpius Rex, so I could. He knows a big hit's coming. Oh, a Hydra Boa. Ooh, well played, good sir. Okay, so he's going to nullify me. Um, ooh. Ooh, I might as well. Yeah. Oh, wait, what? Okay. Okay. Okay, I like it. I like it. I mean, has he got 100% chance to dodge? Or could I just kill him? Hey! Look! Finally, you're in my favor. <laughs> oh, no slippery alert for you. So, this is the thing, right? People say Rex is OP, but, like, I think that's why everyone's playing for Rex, because... If you play it right, you can pretty much kill Rexy in one one turn. Or two turns. My bad. Two turns. And it is... Da, 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 da. Oh, no Rexy. But uh, you know, another Hydra Bow. I thought that was going to be the last one. I want to do one more. Just one more. Let's see. Oh, I love how they gave the Hydra Bow an elephant sound. <laughs> oh. Wow. Level 26. Do I have anything that goes through everything? I don't think I do. Um, he's definitely quicker. What are we thinking? Fearless alert? What, what What's going to happen here? I mean, I may as well. I, I've got a priority move. I might as well use it. There we go. Absorbed. And the distracting group. Okay. It's like, what do I do? I, do, I, do I bleed him out? Like, can he heal? Like, if he's threatened and it's below 1,000, which he won't be, does it cleanse himself? God knows. Let's just go for the priority. Yeah, lots of damage. Ah. <laughs> It doesn't resist the bleed. It will... Ah, there's the cleanse. I thought so. Okay. So we made sure it, it didn't heal, which is fair enough. And then it's dead next turn. And if it swaps out, it's also dead. I like Hydra Bo. I don't know why I slept on this guy for so long. Apparently, another one that everyone's using now is the crocodile. But don't have that one. And, you know, I'm not a high-level player that, like, you know, put money into the game early or, or God knows what else. And then now is at the top of the league all the time. So that now they get all the boosts. They get all the prizes, all the rewards, all the time. <laughs> I should have. I should have just sunk millions into it. <laughs> so, uh, do I just let it die? I think so. Yeah, go for your priority and then remove attack. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Porex always put... There's got to be a good counter for Porex. I mean, there's plenty. There probably is. I was struggling to think of it at the top of my head. Um, I mean, he's going to cleanse, and then he can do the swap out and do loads of damage. I'll do this one. We'll do this one. He's not going to hit me until he goes... Yeah, here comes the sidestep. Thought as much. He's not going to hit me until he goes for his huge hit. So I'm hoping... Yeah, remove the dodge. Remove the speed. Give a vulnerable. Then hit it. <laughs> And then get a crit and then kill it. <laughs> oh, 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 no. Okay, Ankylosaur Lux is, is the counter for it. Because then, yeah, yeah, perfect. Ooh, I'll go for that. Yeah, because he's got, I mean, he's got to try and stun. Let's see if he gets a stun. Or does, is the stun removed off that one? I don't know. Uh, so many things have been, like, slightly patched. Yeah, it's this one. Even though it says it has a stun on it, it doesn't do the stun anymore. 
So, there's a big hit. And then we can pretty much kill it with just going for a regular hit now. If I wanted to. It does a lot of damage to me there, though, to be fair. Uh, I'll do that. You know, we'll do the swap out. We'll do the swap out. Oh, he also swaps. Okay, okay. Now, is it going to be a Paratops is the question. What do you have? Paratops. It's a Paratops. Ah, there it is. Can we give a... Like a... There it is. Paratops breaks the shield. Does a lot of damage. But I think it's... Has it been nerfed? It, oh. It's a baby Paratops. Oh, now that makes a silly wee baby. No, we've definitely won. Oh, my God. Didn't even need a level source. Angosaur looks took out two things. I mean, they're not max level 30, so... I can't really be too proud, <laughs> if I'm honest. Because <laughs> I had a lot of advantage there. So, sorry, Rigi QQ. And I will one day get back into New Blood Not Shoals Gyrosphere Depot. One day. But if you're trying this video, guys, leave a like. Until next time, I'll see you cuties later. Oh, bye bye.